Some school districts in Phoenix already have at least one electric bus and are in the process of funding more. We want to make sure we have the infrastructure in place first so that as we pursue uh, more buses, we have everything needed to be able to keep them charged and powered. We are also um, keeping our eye on both state and national grants to be able to, to fund a portion of purchasing new buses. Mm -hmm. So in the short run, we do know that we want to plan our infrastructure for, for about 10 buses within the next five years. Elva Sanchez is a volunteer mother at Justin Spitalny Elementary School, where her three children attend. Sanchez says that she was able to ride on the bus and experience its benefits, such as seeing spacious, clean seats with their seat belts. And most importantly, she tells us how this electric bus benefits the health of her children, especially the elderly. Mi hija la mayor, la de uh, ocho octavo grado, tiene asma. My eighth grader has asthma, and she has benefited more from the electric bus. She had very constant asthma attacks, and now she even forgets to use the inhaler. Every morning, Sanchez's children are picked up by Maria, who is the assigned driver for the Catbright electric bus. This electric bus is fully charged in approximately six hours. It's quiet, and the only thing we have to worry about is the noise coming from the children. Phoenix Junior High School District has four electric buses today, with a possible plan of expansion. Our current plans are to have uh, 10 electric buses by 2024, and then it'll be examined from then how effective they are and how much we want to expand the fleet from there. One of them is transit style, a larger, smoother running city bus. And yes, the next couple that we purchase will be that type of bus for transportation in the South Valley. Both the school districts have the participation of the community and different groups, as well as partners in the bus industry with whom they have been very active in working to found more electric buses. In Phoenix, Jimena Vera, Cronkite News.